that back. Franklin and Leon sent me to come pick you up. Show you a good time. Shit, I. <laughs> My niggas done did me right. Did you post his bail? No. <laughs> no, no, I gave you money. What you talking about? I gave you money. What you talking about? You just went down to do it, posted, and they said your man was already out. Well, if you didn't, and I didn't, who did? Well, if you didn't, and I didn't, who did? I'm sorry about what happened to your daughter. I am, but I ain't do this. That girl, I'm not the one you want. Where's Leon, where's Leon? I swear to God, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Say a prayer. What's up YouTube? It's your boy Mark Dark and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love snowfall, go ahead hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today we're going to be talking about snowfall season 4, remembering Fatback. Yes, that is the topic of discussion today. We know in the last episode, Fatback met his fate and you already know how I do it. We always got to talk about um, these characters that end up leaving the show. Um, especially a guy like Fatback, whose loyalty pretty much cost him everything. But at the same time, he showed that he was a true soldier. You don't see a lot of people like Fatback in TV shows in general. Hell, it, even in real life, you don't see a lot of people like him. Um, this guy was willing to ride and die for his team, his organization, for his boy, Leon. Unfortunately, it cost him his life. And we are definitely going to talk about it. You guys let me know, man. What do you think about your boy Fatback? Um are you pissed off that he's gone at the end of the day man i had a feeling someone's going to suffer you know what i'm saying we knew someone was going to take the l for what happened to that little girl we knew that was going to happen whether it was leon or someone that was close to leon so this is the reason i believe fatback was taken out franklin saint understood that fatback was going to have to be the person that's going to have to take the l um and it's crazy because leon has lost two soldiers well three actually uh, we know cj of course as you can see in this picture um he is taken out he was like one of the first cats got popped in that car and then fatback met his fate in the last episode of snowfall no matter what leon was going through fatback was always there on his side he was willing to do whatever it took to get the job done and that's what i respected a lot or the most about fatback because this guy was willing to do what he had to do he didn't really complain too much um they asked him to do something and he'll go out there and do it he was muscle but besides the muscle he was loyal that's something that you cannot buy that is something that is hard to get especially when you're running a drug organization like franklin saint now we knew in the last episode once franklin saint told leon you know what you got to do um we already knew what was up um the fan predictions we was already pretty much saying that fatback's going to take the l Leon already knew what Franklin was talking about. He did not want Fatback taking this fall for him. Leon was saying, look, I would do the bid. I am good. You know what I'm saying? This is what he wanted to do. But Franklin Saint said, no, Fatback is a soldier. And at the end of the day, we know these huge organizations. This is how they're pretty much ran. The guy at the top usually doesn't take the fall. Those guys below him, um, they usually take those L's. They do those bids. And then, of course, they are promised a good life once they return home now that is if the organization is still up and running so this is what franklin saint pretty much promised fatback like look i got you you're not going to serve no 50 years we're going to get you a good deal you're going to make sure you're good you're going to have all this money and all this you're going to be set when you get out deep down the side you can tell fatback did not want to do this he understood that he was facing 50 years um that it was not going to look good for him he also understood by getting locked up as i told you guys doesn't mean you're going to live. Um, people are going to be after you, especially after they know what you did, what you was involved in, whether you did it or not. Fatback understood this. So Leon, of course, told him, look, I got you. I will have people in there that's going to protect you. But how is a life like that? You know, living a life where you got to watch your back at all times. I mean, that's not a life to live. So at the end of the day, Fatback was screwed, in my opinion. But did he pretty much complain? No. Fatback took what he was told to do. I mean, they didn't even ask him for real. They said, look, 
We need you to take this bid. We need you to do this for us. You a soldier. You know what I'm saying? They talked him up to do it. Deep down aside, he didn't want to, but he did it because he is loyal. And unfortunately, as I told you guys in the recap, his loyalty cost him his life. What would you have done? That was the question that they put out there on Instagram if you were fatback. As I told you, when you get into this organization like this, when you get into this life, when you accept those consequences, this comes with the territory. See, are you willing to serve time for your boy, especially if you're at the bottom of the food chain? Are you willing to do that? So that's why it's a tough question um, to ask. But at the end of the day, we know Fatback said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and serve the time. Now, when he went there and he met up with this lawyer guy, you would think Fatback would have it in his head. This is the guy that I'm working with. This is the guy that's going to help me get a good deal. Um, anybody else that I see, if it ain't Franklin or Leon or anybody in my organization, I'm not going to communicate with them. I'm not going to do anything with them. Now, we saw Khadija. She's cooking up her concoction. We know what she was all about. She's not playing around with no more, right? Khadija is getting the job done. She's not man boy. She's not Scully. She's about action. Now, I know a lot of people was upset with Fatback for falling for the old okie doke. As I told you guys, if you're coming out there, you would think your lawyer is going to be out there or maybe Franklin or Leon. But once he was offered that opportunity with this lady, of course, he took it. He didn't think with the right head, as I saw a lot of you guys was saying. And, of course, Khadija took complete advantage of that. And she got the job done regardless. I know everybody was asking, how did Khadija and her friend move his body? Now, that is a good question. But at the same time, it is a TV show. Um, I don't know how they moved the body, but they got that body moved. Now, let's get to her, T. Once again, she's looking very, very weird. Um, we're going to break her down once again. I already did a video about her not being trusted. Um, as in this next, this last episode, we saw once again, exactly what we all been talking about. Why is she looking so weird? Every time Franklin is on the phone, every time Franklin walks away, um, to me, she's plotting and planning. She's gathering information. Of course, we know Fatback was released by someone how did they even get that information? I know they may go and let the family know, like, look, we got the person that um, killed your daughter um, and that's it. But at the end of the day, man, I have a feeling that someone gave them the upper hand. Someone told them about Fatback, man, getting released or having the opportunity to get that bill. And we're going to see later on through these episodes how that all unfolded, in my opinion. But T cannot be trusted. We are definitely going to talk more about her character, man. You guys let me know what you think about that. Now, Fatback, of course, he even apologized to Khadija. He said, look, I'm sorry what happened to your daughter, but that was not me. We know at the end of the day, she was not going to let this man walk. She was not going to let this man live, no matter what he told her. He did not know where Leon was at. Um... Of course, he was not trying to lose his life. We know Fatback was running his mouth, but he's getting, you know, stabbed on. So, of course, he ain't just going to sit there and just be all po polite and stuff. So, you know, he did what he did. But at the end of the day, Khadija told him, look, say a prayer. And, you know, Fatback, he suffered a very vicious death. And it's sad, man. It's sad, especially since he was willing to ride um, for his team. No matter what, didn't question a whole lot of different things. Um, it was even times that Leon didn't want to go put in work. And Fatback was like, look, we can go put in this work. We can find Scully. Remember that episode about, you know, Franklin trying to get information on Scully. And of course, Fatback is like, look, you know, Scully is connected to Man Boy. That, that they can get intel from Man Boy on how to get that connection with Scully. Leon didn't want to do that. But Fatback said, you know what, Franklin, I'm willing to do it. Let's get the job done. So he was willing to do things even when Leon didn't want to do things. He was a loyal soldier, was not lazy, and he got the job done. Of course, Franklin Saint had to be the one to see the body, of course. And Fatback, it's just sad, man, to see him sitting there like that, especially after all the work he put in, especially since he was going to ride it all out and serve that bid for his team, for Leon. And Leon understood all that stuff they was telling him was probably bull for real. You know, you're going to have all this when you get out. Um, you're going to be good. We're going to get you a good deal. We know at the end of the day, about the time that Fatback gets out, this whole organization is probably going to be in shambles. It's probably not going to be around no more because it's going to explode very, very soon. We know that. And we're talking about the time that he will probably end up getting out, which we don't even know how many years they would have really gave 
Fatback. But at the end of the day, one thing that we can say about Fatback was he was a loyal soldier. He did what he had to do. He didn't question anything. And as I told you guys earlier, that is something that you cannot buy, especially in organizations. Hell, especially in just in real life times, you can't buy loyalty, man. Um, people like him, you don't find like that. It's sad how it all ended, but Fatback will definitely be remembered. So once again, we doing Snowfall Season 4, remembering your boy, Fatback was a true soldier and I want to see what's going to happen next now you know Fatback is gone as I told you guys we know another funeral is coming and based off what we've been seeing based off these breakdowns these previews we can go ahead and predict that this funeral that we saw in those trailers the second one is probably Fatback's right it's a very high chance that that is the case and we know Khadija is not done yet and as I told you it will be more bodies that's going to drop in Franklin Saints organization. The question is, who is that body going to be? But you guys let me know, man. What do you think about your boy Fatback? If you were in Fatback's shoes, would you have done what he done? I already see a lot of people saying, man, screw that. He, 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 Leon going to have to serve his own time. Um, at the end of the day, even if Fatback said, no, I'm good, he was pretty much screwed, man. You think they're going to let him just walk Um it would have been a hard decision to make. I'm going to tell you that right now. He screwed either way, in my opinion, because I got a feeling regardless if he would have said, nah, I'm good. Y'all going to have to, you going to have to turn yourself in. I ain't doing it. They would have found a way to screw over Fatback and it wouldn't have been good either way it went. It just, you know, it's sad that it had to be Fatback. But um, thank you guys for all the love, all the support. I will catch y'all on the next Snowfall Season 4 video. Make sure you follow the playlist to keep yourself updated on all the latest Snowfall Season 4 news. But um, let me go out of here, man. It's your boy, Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.